the Kenya Power uh, Generating Company, Kenjen, is looking to generate 3,000 megawatts over the next 10 years from geothermal and hydropower. The firm says despite the three-year drought that has affected hydropower generation, the source will be key in achievement of the goal in which geothermal will push 2,000 megawatts. Kenya has already established leadership in green energy and climate action agenda, boasting more than 92% share of grid scale renewable energy. Kenjin is looking to geothermal and hydropower to stabilize the country's energy mix as demand increases. The company says 9,000 megawatts of geothermal energy is unexploited in the country. To this effect, the firm says over the next 10 years it will put up. 3,000 megawatts of renewable energy in the country. Produce 1,904 megawatts as Kenjin against total countries' uh, generation of over 3,000 megawatts. So I think the percentage can be, can be calculated there uh, in terms of. And in terms of the coverage, I think maybe I think 75% of our population currently. Are covered and I think you are one of the leading countries in this region and in Africa we, are, we should be proud of that we should push it further to get to the 80s and beyond e mobility is another key focus of the company with plans to deploy electric car charging stations in Mombasa and Nakuru cities and I think as Kenjan will be engaging government as one of the first organizations among other organizations actually to see how we can lobby to see whether some of those concessions can be made. It's a government issue, policy, on taxation, but we really wish to see facilitation to ensure that use of e-mobility actually is embraced by a larger majority of our population because it's clean, it's safe for our environment, and it's what we all aspire to see happening in our country. The company announced the plans in a move geared towards pushing for clean mobility to reduce environmental pollution from fossil fuels. The farm is set to assess existing power plants and improve them to produce more from the same machines. The company reported a 157% profit rise in 2022 as its revenue grew by 7.5% from 45.7 billion shillings in 2021 to 49.2 billion shillings as the company continued to benefit from investments in geothermal. Frederick Moki for Lunchtime News.